Uh, the format of your uh, report. Congratulations to those who successfully completed uh, the practical work and good luck to those who are going to still do it. As far as the format for your report is concerned, front cover, you should have a university logo, university emblem. And with that, you should have your particulars. In this case, you had got his name, initials, student number, the department, the name of your subject, date, and the lecturer's name. There is uh, one more thing which you, you have to add. It means this particular student lost more marks here. Uh, you need to add in the title of your uh, expo that need, as we Oops. you have been copied. Remember, we're gonna take your report for plagiarism check. So then it happens that uh, we find similarity index high, higher than 25%. Depending on the severity, you might be taken for disciplinary hearing. So you are advised to abstain from copy uh, your friend's work. Okay, after the cover page, yeah, we have a table of contents, index page. You started with the introduction. It makes your report look good. After all, it's yours. But in my case, my rubric uh, doesn't include introduction, so it's optional. Uh, remember, the rubric is the guide for your report. So you need objective. You need to list all your operators. And you have to go through your results, discuss them, and conclude your work. Give the biography and attach documents such as your rubric, uh, the test which you uh, have participated on. I see there on attachment, uh, this particular folk here has uh, taken the trouble of breaking down those attachments on the index. So that was unnecessary. It should have been just attachment. It was good enough. Uh, we see here he's got a nice sketch for what he's doing. Uh, well, with your result, you, the result of what? So then it will be a good thing that you have a, a sketch of what you're doing, not a copy of what is on the question paper. Redraw your own diagram. You can include wiring diagram. If, if you have any photos, you can supply. The more information you put, the better the marks, remember? Uh, he came to an objective. I like what he said there. He said objectives. Right. In one experiment, there are many things to be achieved. You can't just say it, uh, to do transformer tense ratio. The process of uh, giving a transformer tense ratio, you had to measure primary voltage, you have to measure secondary, you had to connect with banana uh, plugs, a transformer to your uh, workbench and so forth so all those things which you have done uh, you need to list all of them uh, that's uh, part of your objective so for a, a good marks there it um, unfortunately I can't mm, yeah, see what what is the mark allocation for that but even if it's one for this instance, it will mean a lot. So you need to give details. Uh, that was followed by a, a list of components. Uh, 
If you look there, he, he even gave pictures uh, that's unnecessary. All I want is the name of a component and the description, full description. You can't just say uh, to me, we have a transformer. What sort of a transformer? Untapped, if it's untapped, or is that the name? And it's a single phase. It's a single phase. Is it a step down? What is the VA rating? Full description. Go as much as you can uh, get up to uh, for every component. And then if you aim to get uh, uh, better marks. From component list, uh, he moved to the procedure. I haven't seen the procedure on your rubric. So if it's not there, you, you need not to worry about it. You can just shoot uh, straight to your results and discussion. Uh, the better way to present results is the use of tables and graphs. So those tables supplied in your question paper, you can redraw them nicely, customize them, populate them with values. From those values, then uh, you can uh, plot graphs to show uh, the relationship between various parameters. Uh, let me just give you an example here. Yeah? Uh, let's say this is the primary voltage VP and on the Y axis, VS on the X axis. So how do they relate to one another? So if they relate to one another that way, that is it. And both now, how do they relate to the tense ratio? Then you put any mathematics you have in your uh, tables, you can represent them uh, using uh, graphs which will aid visual uh, presentation. So then, afterwards, those graphs and tables you need to commentate them. So, well, that will go to your discussion where you discuss them, uh, explain the relationship between the signals and explain the meaning of each signal and so forth. Uh, go as far as you can get up to. Uh, after you've done that, then you conclude your work. You don't say you've learned a lot, you haven't learned anything, the lecture was rude. For conclusion, you need to Go back to your objectives and look at the results and then state if your results do support your objectives. So now, yeah, amongst many objectives was to uh, evaluate a tense ratio of a transformer. Does those results give you the tense ratio? And what is the relationship of those results with the tense ratio. They are seen on the graph and the tables and then you describe that. So that's how you conclude your work. Then afterwards you come to attachments. No, before attachments it will be references, list of references. All textbooks used for su this subject, uh, prescribed, non-prescribed, you may list all of them in this format. So should it happen that in within your text, you quoted uh, some statements from sources. Let's say you had to say uh, all bodies within the universe attract one another. Uh, that's universal gravitational law of Newton, right? Which references do you find it? So in that statement all bodies in the universe attract one another so you're gonna come after it and put a number that is i triple e style you can learn more about this from internet right when we do one there it means right where there is a bibliography in your list you will number this according to 
those references so we're gonna come and say one and then you follow this format so put authors year and the title of the document right so proper referencing will mean a uh, good mark folks so for sure it's uh, within your interest to to get as many marks uh, as much marks as as high marks as possible right and then from there is going to be your attachments so the documents all documents that uh, uh, or abstracts uh, which have been used like for instance you had a, a rubric so you attach it any additional info where you work your rough uh, did your rough calculations you you attach it uh, you might have data sheets you attach them so uh, that's where uh, you put uh, additional document within your attachment section so you're looking at around eight pages for your report uh, then that will be a good one then after that you upload it to ulink we do understand that there are those who don't have ulink so i was kind enough to use my website for that and then i'll sub send you a link uh, so once you receive the link it will have a i'm trying to to get it nicely there nicely in a nice form for you you go to the website the website is not connecting we have to ex enable data uh, right there let's try one more time right once you are in the website you scroll through to the bottom you see that say add assignment you click on it you select your file to put and then once that is done uh, you press submit and then it will tell you whether it's successful or not uh, that's it folks uh, that's how you can uh, uh, create your assignment and submit